Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 86 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video we will discuss about over voltage. What is this over voltage and what is the phenomenon of polarization? Okay, so before uh, going there, I want to discuss about the GATE 2022 course which we have already launched on everythingmetallurgy.com. So the interested guys can go and grab the early bird discount which is ending on 31st January. So now coming back to the video, what is polarization? So usually this concept is uh, used to predict corrosion rates. Okay, so we call it polarization. Okay, what is polarization? So basically polarization is defined as the displacement of the electrode potential. What is it? It is defined as the displacement of the electrode potential so usually what we do so when i talk about uh, corrosive behaviors we have something called emf series right i think everyone knows about it so what we do and how we get the values of the standard reduction potentials let's say e naught reduction this is basically my standard reduction potential okay so I'm not going in detail of how this is uh, calculated, but the fundamental behind this is we take SHE standard hydrogen electrode and we couple the metal, okay, the metal electrode which you want to study about so that you can find out the standard reduction potential. So standard reduction potentials or you can say it's equilibrium cell potentials can be found out by coupling with a standard hydrogen electrode right but in all the applications it's not the case we are only taking that uh, SHE as a reference okay but when you actually couple with some other conditions or some other electrodes usually we know we have two types of reduction uh, two type of reactions involved for corrosion right two half reactions two half cells which we can see that one is oxidation and the other is reduction correct so that is basically shifting to a newer value the voltage okay let me give you an idea about it so let's say uh, i have a polarization curve okay so usually the polarization curve is nothing but your um, cell potential on y-axis and current density okay what is current density current per unit area right so basically what you do here you generally draw two lines okay so let's say we have oxidation and reduction correct so we have oxidation slope in this way and reduction reaction so let's say this is oxidation on top this is my reduction correct now if you actually take this particular uh, for you know uh, this particular um, what we say curves polarization curve for some electrode let's say zinc okay zinc uh, when it is coupled with let's say platinum okay so what happens usually this is what is my equilibrium cell potential correct this is what your equilibrium cell potential right where oxidation and reduction are taking place simultaneously okay this is actually my e naught so let me just pull this out okay let me say this is my e naught cell correct or e naught let me keep it e naught now if you are actually coupling with some other electrode let's say this curves are for zinc electrode okay if this is in um, combination or you know if this is connected to a platinum electrode then you see some other curves okay usually you see something like this let's say this this is my platinum curve let's assume this is oxidation of platinum the blue one and this is reduction of okay platinum uh, and again i'm not uh, going in details of the reactions and all but this is how you actually uh, see right now if you carefully see now we are actually not 
uh, wanting the equilibrium between the oxidation and reduction of the same electrode rather we have two half cells now one is of zinc which is the orange one and the other i mentioned is platinum which is the blue one so now if you carefully see this guy this is the intersection between these two polarization curves correct now what is happening if you see your cell potential has been displaced right is it has been displaced to a different value correct so this displacement this phenomena of displacement of electrode potential when you are actually coupling with some other electrode is called as polarization okay so it's pretty simple it seems complicated but it is very easy polarization is what when you are coupling with uh, when you are coupling an electrode with some other you know, different guy then your equilibrium cell potential has some deviation has some displacement and this phenomena is called polarization now what is over voltage why did i keep uh, my heading as over voltage so over voltage is nothing but the amount by which this displacement has been there okay so usually here i can write this to be e cell minus e not okay so in this case usually if you see e cell is greater than e not correct that's what you can see from the figure easily right so this is a positive over voltage usually over voltage is taken to be eta right similarly let's say i have some other uh, you know curve which i want to just show something like this okay it is coupled with some other electrode now if you carefully see i have here now what is happening uh, this is your e cell now for this case e cell is less than my e not so over voltage will be what negative over voltage okay so uh, there were some questions some um, one mark question in 2011 if i am not wrong they just gave that there is a shift in the equilibrium potential okay and this shift is actually going to a higher value that means the equilibrium potential is uh, changing and becoming a higher value and they are asking what is the over voltage in the options you see positive uh, sorry uh, yeah positive negative etc so what is this in this case if the cell potential is increasing then you see this is my case so you have a positive over voltage right so usually uh, if you see here you can just take the slopes of this so usually this is taken as plus beta this is minus beta and you can have eta which is over voltage as plus or minus beta into log of i by i not okay i not is this guy over here okay i at different current density so you can see the current density also changes according to my e cell right so this is the formula that you have right and also uh, at the start of the video i also mentioned that polarization curves these curves are actually used for predicting the corrosion rate how can you predict the corrosion rate it is very easy so the corrosion rate r can be written as i by nf where i is the current density so here this should be my usually we i call it to be ic so i take this to be ic and i take this to be vc okay vc is nothing but the potential at corrosion ic is nothing but the current density required for corrosion okay so i by nf will give me the corrosion rate where i is your current density n is the number of electrons that are associated with this and f is faraday's constant which is 96500 coulomb per mole okay so this is a concept of polarization and over voltage and also in polarization we have two different types activation polarization and concentration polarization which we'll discuss in the upcoming videos right so this is about this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and i welcome all the 2022 guys So please do visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com in order to avail one of the best video courses and one of the best interactive live sessions for gate metallurgy at the most affordable prices in our country itself. So you can just visit and uh, check out the early bird discounts too. Again, remember it is uh, ending on Jan thirty first. 
so yeah that's it from my side we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys